obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Good luck to you both at Tushkin. So a first eight rounder then for Bertley Cyrus Pattinson in the white trunks operating out of the southpaw stance. His opponent from France, Dimitri Trenel, 8-0 with four by way of knockout. I think general consensus is that Bertley has been the, the premier boxing club, produced the, the best talent at, at top level in the amateurs consistently too, the McCormack brothers as well. Anna Robinson, Mark Dickinson as well, who's a, a fledgling pro, looking very good too. Cyrus Pattinson was, as you mentioned, Joe, a prominent figure on GB, a very, very competitive weight, so nearly snatched Josh Kelly's Olympic place away from him was a split decision defeat to world number three at the Olympic qualifiers in Samsung in 2016 which Joe I know you secured your place there too he he fought so well there Pattinson and was so so near but so far from his Olympic dreams and has had to be patient since then and of course the the moment where he he felt he was going to turn over early in 2020 well those ambitions we know what snuffed them out and been a long patient wait for a, a high quality fighter and well as i mentioned on the ring walk the the bad luck he's had with those two fights falling through in his first three he just he's so so keen to to get going here and show what he's made of yeah he was um he was very unlucky i think um not to get uh not to qualify he was um, he had a close fight in in samsung in turkey and um yeah it was a bit frustrating for him but he's obviously he's here now he's turned over and um he's on a good roll and i think tonight um he's, he's had a lot of frustration in the last couple of a couple of months and tonight i think after the first round i think he'll start going for the gears and um pressing pressing on and getting a good he'll get a good win Baron, it'll want to assess the danger here with, with the number of knockouts on Chanel's record. That, that can mean something or nothing, given the, the level of opposition that he's faced. But he'll just want to, to be cautious defensively on the return early, won't he? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, this is a good fight on paper. Chanel, eight wins, four KOs, no defeats. But let me tell you now, he would have been in with nobody as good as Cyrus Pattinson, who's very good. I mean, there's, there's so much to like already. You know, I'm, I drive you mad, Chris, with fighters fainting you can see already now he's trying he's collecting data with the faint with the jab he's always thinking he's moving he's comfortable on the front foot the back foot the variations there the speed of shots there he's uh he really is a special talent a talent that just wants to be busy he's had some very bad luck he's due some good luck now so hopefully we can see him busy and taking care of business here so raking left hand to the body just Drew a smile from the Frenchman, Trenel, who's just been on the end of it in this first round, beaten to the punch and outboxed for those first three minutes. Graham Rutherford will be happy with what he's seen from his man. He's a, he's a real taskmaster, Rutherford. And when he reads the right act in the corner, you really, really know about it, but there wouldn't be much to complain about in those first three minutes. No, it was uh, a good opening round from Cyrus. And it was a good debut for this man, Chef Clark, part of the... Tokyo 2021 squad as it was went out there and has turned over Joe again somebody you know well brilliant character and well explosive and boxing freely on his debut yeah um, I watched his debut I was I was actually commentating on his debut so yeah um, it was it was great to see him uh, get a good win seconds. and I think I think he's going to be one for the future I don't think uh, cruiser weight is his weight or heavy, heavyweight I think he can drop down to potentially light, light heavy and um, do some big things there. Yeah, he looked fresh and, and healthy at 199 pounds, 175. It's a long way down. I just wonder, carrying all that muscle, will he will he agree with you? But either way, he's going to be a force. ABA champion at uh, well, heavyweight in the amateurs, well, as it was. Sorry, my mistake. I said heavyweight. Cruiserweight, I think, is his, his weight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, think, I think a career cruiserweight, maybe yeah. a, maybe sneaking up to bridgeweight in yeah. the next three or four oh, yeah, years the, if the opportunity the presents itself. Yeah. yeah, and of course, Alan Babbage is boxing 
in the, the Bridge Weight Division later on against Adam Borski. The inaugural title of the WBC, of course, won off by Oscar Rivas, I think, in October or November last year. This is an eliminator of sorts later on tonight, live on the zone. Guarantee fireworks with Alan Babich and, of course, with Chev Clark, who's up next. But at the moment, Cyrus Pattinson already starting to really put his shots together and test the resolve of Dimitri Trinell. Trinell comes straight out, start this second round, tried to push Cyrus Pattinson back, and that lasted all of about 15 seconds. Pattinson landed some good body shots that didn't seem to be too low. Trinell wasn't happy with them. He's been... Falls back on the back foot, but he's trying to creep forward now. He's more of a you see those the, the four oh, knockouts on his shot. record. That was a good lead right hook. Yeah, just uses it to, to spin off, get himself back to centre ring, just shovels the, the left hand in off the, the right hook upstairs. And Trinell, we have to be honest, just looking a little bit out of his depth here. We see every time Cyrus faints, Trinell's trying to parry the jab with the left hand, and that's why he's open to the right hook. So the Bank is working a treat here for Cyrus Patterson. Looking really, really good, working the body well. Trying to punch the fight out of Trinell right now. He's backed onto the ropes, shipping some punishment, but gamely firing back. Oh, great shot. He's sinking them body shots in, lovely. Are oh, we seeing a bit of frustration coming out of Cyrus Patterson? You can understand why. Well, on the way over it, he said it, it's hard to program my head to, to the fact that I am boxing, he said, because of those two full crews on the day of, of the contest in his first three. So I have to remind myself it, it's highly unusual and it's not something that I should expect on a, on a regular basis. It just happens to have been me that it's happened to. But uh, he is in full flow here. Trinell backed into the corner. Pattinson chopping away at the body. Oh, just a little guard pulled shots. down with the lead hand, whips the left behind it. Some beautiful boxing by Cyrus. He's had some good experience over the years. He was uh, brought down to spa with Jorge Linares when he was making his preparations for Luke Campbell some years ago now. Patterson was in the early stages of his WSB experience over five rounds. He has been this kind of distance before and, and work rate, high work rate is a hallmark of, of what he brings. Darren and he's, he's under no illusions and no doubt that it will get tougher as the 12 come but he believes he can sustain this kind of work well, for eight well no doubt and I think that would bring the best out of him Chris I think the better opponent the, the, the better we'll see of Cyrus but that was another very good round Trinell completely under the cost there was forced back into the neutral corner then his red corner shipping punishment head body shots raining in from all over the place and yeah showing us why he was such a successful amateur Cyrus this is how he the fought in down. the amateurs, yeah, he really, yeah. really, he stood and traded, let the hands go, he didn't wait long, and he's yeah. used Trinell as a bit of a punch bag in that round. Yeah, Trinell, game, he was trying his best to throw a big shot now and again, trying to hold on, but Cyrus is too clever, too cute, taking the little step out of range and firing back. Yeah, I think he got to him that round. I think if he has another round like that, potentially he can get him out of there. Seconds up, round three. Well, Trinell came to step to the ring behind a stiff jab. Pattinson parried it, immediately pushed him back, and, and has just asserted his authority as we kick off round number three. Here at the O2. Yeah, I think you're right, Joe. If we see another round like we did in that previous round, in this round, it's going to be very hard for Trinell to, to get to the final bell, to hit a final bell. Looking very, very spiteful. Really putting meat into all the shots. Just changing the levels too, yep. really, really nicely. Just shoveling that left hand into the body, giving him the eyes and then changing the levels, firing upstairs as he does there, rocks the head of the Frenchman back. And Chanel tries to fire back. Looking to sit in the pocket now. Good Chanel, Patterson, probably not a wise move for the Frenchman. Knowing the class and the skill and the accuracy that Patterson possesses. Credit to the Frenchman, no, his game is tough, he's rugged. He's completely second best here as Patterson lands a nice left hook. Oh, 
Both made the agreed 150 pound limit. I think Pattinson was just under 149 in his last scheduled contest, which of course didn't take place. He is planning to campaign for titles at 147. Echo Essiman, of course, the, the British champion at present. David Avenisi and the European champion still will vacate that belt at some point if world level opportunities present themselves. That's the route that Pattinson wants to, to tread himself. And he is really working over the Frenchman here. He takes the knee off a, a stiff hook to the body with a minute to go in the third. He's so spiteful, Patterson. He really, really is looking levels above Tunnel here. Oh, oh that's short left shot. to the body, followed by a right. Yeah. Looking very dangerous. Referee damage, the gun shields out. Oh, yeah, and the towel comes in. Chipping away at him. And before Tunnel had the opportunity to respond to the referee, the Frenchman's corner threw in the towel. I think uh, a sensible decision for their man who was just outgunned, overmatched, and outworked by Cyrus Pattinson, who I, I think has taken out a fair bit of the last few months <laughs> no of frustration doubt. on his opponent there, but he's a respectable guy, as you can see, and you know, we've plenty of that between them. And, well, Cyrus Pattinson up and running again. He moves to 4-0 and with his second stoppage as a professional. Well, he's a gentleman, but he's a dangerous gentleman in the ring. He really is. He's uh, a superb talent. Trunel come into this contest unbeaten, eight fights, eight wins, four knockouts. But that was spiteful, that was aggressive, that was, like you say, emptying the tank, emptying that frustration. Here we're going to get up and running now. We want to get some bouts under his belt this year and really make a, a statement. And Joe, you know what it's like having time out with, with injuries and delays. How satisfying would that have felt for, for Cyrus? Oh, that would have um, that would have made his day. To get a, uh, to put on a performance like that, for me, that was pretty perfect. Um, he stepped it up when he needed to step up, uh, step it up, and he boxed throughout the first two rounds. And then the third round, he put it on him and uh, got him out of there. Yeah, just showing superb variation. See the body shots, the uppercuts. He tried his best, Trinell, to sort of close up the gaps, the guards, and turn into a shell, but he was just getting punched all over the place. Yeah, there, he was about to get a standing eight count because the ropes were judged to, to yeah. hold him up. I don't know how much they were holding him up, but he's leaning right into them, cowering away, and I just think the, the shellacking he was taking, the corner did absolutely the right thing, and he will live to, to fight another day. All smiles from the pair of them in the ring. Let's head over to the formalities with David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to an end at 2 minutes and 21 seconds of round number three. Your winner by TKO, he's still undefeated, Cyrus Pattinson. So Cyrus Pattinson rolls on to 4-0 and with the second stoppage of his career. And he looked happy to be back. Third fight in the books already on before the bell. We're racing.